Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip. And on this episode, I'm gonna share with you a road trip I did from Phoenix to St. George, Utah. And I'm gonna show you some of the highlights, like old Route 66 that runs through Kingman, Grand Canyon West, the Hoover Dam, Valley of Fire State Park in Nevada, as well as a number of other sites and stops, including the awe-inspiring beauty here in St. George. So come along with me and let me show you around. Get off the road! All right. For this road trip, I recommend planning five to seven days. The distance is around 1,100 miles. It's slightly shorter if you do a loop and go through Page Lake Powell. However, for this road trip guide, I am focusing on Phoenix to St. George and returning nearly the same way. Now there is a bit of an elevation change, so do plan accordingly. So my road trip vehicle for this trip is the all new Ford Ranger four wheel drive Lariat. This area of the country really lends itself to having a four-wheel drive in order to take full advantage of the terrain. From Phoenix, the first stop I recommend is Wickenburg which is considered the West's most Western town, where cowboys still roam and artists reign. Stroll through Old Town and see some of the sculptures that represent the area, or stop by an authentic one-room schoolhouse, or have a sensational sandwich at the local press. Hey, and don't take my word for it, Arizona Highways says it's one of the best sandwich shops in the state. If you want to learn more about Wickenburg, click on the link above or below to watch a video I did a few years back. The On this road trip, you'll pass through two large Joshua Tree forests. The first is along Highway 93, just outside of Wickenburg. If you're looking for a place to camp thus far, check out the Wallapai Mountain Park. The drive leading up to the park is quite scenic. The road ahead, it twists and turns, and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. They have both RV and tent camping, as well as some cabins to rent. And this is a great escape from the heat, but it can get a bit chilly in the winter months. The elevation is over 5,000 feet, and the mountain peaks are over 8,000. It was mid-November when I did this trip, and it got near freezing at night. Wow, that's crazy. I was just going to cook some dinner, and I heard all of this rustling going around, and there's this massive herd of elk that just walked through my camp. Yeah, I get up. Not far from the Wallapai Mountain Park is Kingman, where the historic Route 66 runs right through town. If you stop, be sure to check out the old train in the middle of town. And if you're hungry, check out Mr. D's. As you drive toward Grand Canyon West, you'll discover a huge forest of Joshua trees. So right now I'm at Grand Canyon West, not to be confused with the National Park, as this is on Wallapai Reservation land, and they have a number of exciting attractions here, including Skywalk, which is a cantilevered bridge that has a glass floor that allows you to look straight down into the canyon. The views from Skywalk, both down and out, are quite impressive. Even more thrilling is taking a helicopter ride down to the bottom of the canyon. Then hopping on a boat for a look at the canyon from the perspective of the Colorado River. 
as rafters float by, while normally hidden rock formations reveal themselves from the vantage of the water. After the boat ride, the helicopter returns to whisk you back up to the top of the majestic canyon. Grand Canyon West is a bit off the beaten path, so I stayed at one of their cabins with private rim access to enjoy the views one last time before hitting the road for my next exciting stop. I'm here at the Hoover Dam, one of the top attractions in northwestern part of Arizona. Less than two hours from Grand Canyon West is one of the most impressive engineering marvels of the 20th century. The Hoover Dam took five years to build, although the entire construction project took 30 years to complete. The dam connects Arizona and Nevada, and half the year shares two different time zones. Taking a tour of the Hoover Dam is not only educational, but showcases what mankind is capable of building. The scale of this project will leave you in awe. My next suggestion on this road trip is a direct result of the Hoover Dam, which created Lake Mead. Man tamed the once uncontrolled Colorado River in spectacular fashion, creating the largest recreational reservoir in the country. So right now I'm at one of my favorite state parks in Nevada. It's called Valley of Fire, and it's about uh, an hour and a half northeast of Vegas. Whoa, 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 whoa. So on this trip, I'm actually joined by my sister, Carrie Lee. So Carrie, what do you think of Valley of Fire so far? It is absolutely gorgeous, depending on what time of day, like it, all the colors continually change and it's super vibrant, like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it, hold it by its tail before it escapes. You know its ways and you cannot lose it that's what you fear so hold it up against your ear and very carefully listen to what it wants you to hear whoa, whoa. typically try and avoid the interstates as they are the least interesting ways to travel. But for every rule, there is an exception. And that is certainly the case as you get close to St. George off the I-40. From a distance, you can see a mountain range, but you can't see the road going over it. And that's because it goes right through it, along the Virgin River. Drivers are treated to soaring mountain walls and peaks in the distance. Oh, 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 
So right now I'm at Snow Canyon, which is just outside of St. George. And let me tell you, this is one remarkable place. It has some similarities to Valley of Fire, but I would say geologically, it's definitely more diverse. If hiking and climbing are not your thing, then you might want to check out the Sand Hollow State Park. This is a place to get the adrenaline going. But if that's not your thing, you can also go swimming or boating. Right now I'm hiking around Zion National Park, which is just about an hour outside of St. George and is one of five magnificent national parks here in Utah. Zion's scenic drive cuts right through the main section of the park, leading to forested trails along the Virgin River. One of the things that makes Zion so special is its backcountry. One of my favorite hikes of all time is the Narrows. This is an adventure that requires you to hike through water, which is only half the fun. Looking at these soaring cliff walls and wandering in wonderment about what's around the next bend is the other. Another incredible hike is Angel's Landing which is not for the faint of heart. Those willing to brave the sketchy trail are rewarded with the most dramatic views in the park. If you head back to Phoenix through Las Vegas, some of my favorite places include Bonnie Springs Ranch, Red Rock Canyon, and Seven Magic Mountains. Well, that's it from this Phoenix to St. George road trip. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. Hey, and I'd like to thank Ford for loaning me this fantastic Ranger 4x4. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road. Backroadtrip.com